Hello and welcome back to Earth Defense Force. So, today's mission is Mountain Pass Trap. Our focus is now on the insects gathered in the mountains. An attack squad was sent, but they were forced back with casualties. The Atarius units from Na now form the hub of the enemy army, making it quite difficult to advance. We'll send air forces, a cannon squad, and transport units, and the aerators will coordinate with those support squads. Good luck. Wait, why are you sending- Trying higher difficulties, deploying. Why are you sending air units against guys you know counter your air units? Rescue the people caught in the web. Like, this seems like a really stupid idea. Do you have a girl back home? No way! <laughs> oh, that's great. Do you have a girl back home? No way! Girls are icky. <laughs> oh god, I love the voice lines in this game. I love how stupidly powerful the shotgun is. Nope, 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 nope. Haha, I get juked. Actually, I need to move because that's going to tag me no matter which way I go. Oh, that works. You know how stupid this setup is? Like, when you break it down, the Ritarius are only dangerous in valleys or in, like, high-density urban areas. I mean, if you pick, like, Alexandria, Minnesota. The Retarius would drop in and be like, I, I, I got nothing. I think I can put a web to like a tree in a house. But it's probably a one story rambler, so, you know, I'm SOL. Actually, now that I think about that, you could pick pretty much any town in Minnesota and these aliens would be screwed. <laughs> like, outside of Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Roseville, and like that whole, the one major metropolitan area, there's no big buildings in the rest of the state. set up in, like, Uppsala or Wyzetta. I think the best part is people who don't know the state do not know what I'm talking about. They just know that I'm saying there's, like, very little built-up area. That really applies everywhere. Like, these threats are very limited in 
their threat. Mm. Oh wow, I missed all that armor. Ah, eh, oh well. I don't care too much. Alright, let's see what we got next. Select a mission. Fortress Frenzy. The infamous quadruped fortress took the city by surprise. How? It's like the size of a skyscraper. You can see that coming. Okay, with many civilians unable to evacuate. Many were lost. We'll engage the enemy on the spot and give the remaining civilians time to escape. Just remember, only ground troops stand between the fortress and the lives of our people. Since our air forces are heavily depleted, this will be a decisive battle. We must destroy the quadruped for fortress. <laughs> fortress. Help buy some time. Select a de deploying. Wait, didn't we blow up one of these before, though? Yeah, with the Grindbuster, which I think I made a joke about your mother. Maybe? I don't remember. That was a long time ago. If I didn't, I mean, there's probably your mom joke in there. Whether it's a quality one or not, I don't know. And a shank that shot. Shouldn't have, shanked. Shouldn't have screwed that one up. And come on. Need a good angle. Actually, it's a good time to grab armor. What good is a self-propelled rocket launcher going to do against this? Yeah, not gonna lie, stopping it before the civilians get smooshed doesn't look possible. Also, at this point, I think you could get people to evacuate pretty easily just by yelling, Get the hell out, you're all gonna die. I mean, it would work for me. This is Spencer. I have arrived on the 
scene. Backing up storm team. Moving the tanks to the front line. Also, where are all these ants and like air units stored? Considering the size of these things, there isn't a lot of room. Are, is it just 3D printing bugs as it walks along? That's what I do. I just set up giant 3D printers. I mean, I saw an article saying that U.S. Army was looking at making sentient, like, squid-like robots that they could 3D print on the battlefield. And my first thought was, so we're making the robots from the Matrix. And then I thought, why are we 3D printing squids? Like, I I'm all for really stupid projects that make little to no sense. But even I'm like, uh, 3D printing squids is a little out there. I'll admit the article did feel a bit sensationalist when it's like, oh, they're self-aware. I'm like, uh, like, self-aware robots... I don't think we're... We can program them enough, from what I can tell, to make them acknowledge that they are robots. But it's not like iRobot level self-awareness or, you know, like Blade Runner level self-awareness. You know, we're not making a guy who can an android who doesn't even know if he's human or not or any of that like we're not doing anything that fancy hey hectors hey and they're shieldless hectors oh you guys are screwed Michael Bay can't even beat this level of explosions. Well, the weak point's not open, so I can't do anything. Actually, I probably could shoot these lasers. The area has been evacuated. The mission was successful. Yes, sir. All units, come on home. You did it. All we did was stall. That's... Okay, whatever. I'll take it. We just kind of keep giving them territory, but sure. Hey, the Lysander! I have a way better version of it, I think, but... Cool. Alright. So, that's all for today. If you enjoyed this, please make sure to hit the like button. It helps out the channel a lot. If you are new, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.